start with a case scenario so it is is a 73 year old man admitted in the icu since 4 days developed fever supra pubic tenderness okay so urine culture has revealed escherichia coli with a significant count of more than 10 to 5 per ml escherichia coli uh, was found in a uh, urine culture so uh, so look like it's a case of a uti uh, because you have urine culture a uh, significant count plus you have fever and supra pubic uh, uh, tenderness and it is found that that person has been on urinary catheter since the day of admission now uh, that means of four days of urinary catheterization the patient has been associated with so therefore it is a typical case of the clinical diagnosis here it is ca uti or also called as catheter associated urinary tract infection so let us discuss ca uti in detail catheter associated uh, urinary tract infection is regarded as the most common hia among the four uh, major hia type what we have discussed the list among the list ca uti accounts for 40% of all uh, nosocomial infections and again a point to be noted around 70 to 80% of hospital associated uh, uti is attributed to the presence of urinary catheter okay in the hospitalized patient if you develop uh, uti then 70 to 80% of all uti in a hospitalized patient is attributed to uh, presence of urinary catheter so presence of urinary catheter is a single most important risk factor for hospital acquired uh, uti therefore ca uti we are going to discuss now there is a terminology called as ca bacteria okay ca bacteria means catheter associated uh, bacteria the uh, the definition of this is you must have a significant count of organism that is at least more than 10 to 5 uh, organism per ml you should have a significant count of organism in a catheterized patient the, uh, this is called as ca bacteria okay in a catheterized patient who who will have at least two days of catheterization in a catheterized patient if you have a significant count of bacteria then uh, this is called as ca bacteria ca bacteria may be of two types symptomatic and asymptomatic if the person is having symptoms then it is called as ca uti ca uti means what ca bacteria plus symptom is called as ca uti if the symptoms are absent it is called as catheter associated asymptomatic bacteria okay if the symptoms are absent it is called as catheter associated asymptomatic uh, bacteria so so i repeat bacteria means what you should have a significant uh, urine culture uh, urine culture should show one organism more than uh, 10 to 5 per ml and the presence of catheter it should be present for at least for more than 2 days so this is called as ca bacteria ca bacteria plus symptom is called as ca uti and without symptom if no symptom it is called as catheter associated asymptomatic bacteria so these are the terminologies what you have to understand and now we'll discuss how much it is common ca uti uh, let us discuss the epidemiology i i have already told you it is the most common uh, nosocomial infection okay the risk of ca bacteria they say that it increases by 3 to 10% per catheter day so presence of catheter is a single most important risk factor if the catheter is present then the risk of ca bacteria with or without symptom is at least 3 to 10% risk per every day of catheterization the, that means if you go like this in a month in a in a 4 weeks of period 100% of catheterized individuals may develop ca bacteria okay uh, because the risk is at least 3% per uh, catheter day now coming to the ca uti rate the ca uti rate is always expressed per 1000 uh, catheter days okay it is always expressed per 1000 uh, catheter days so they say that 0 to 5 per 1000 catheter days is the overall ca uti uh, rate uh, uh, reported elsewhere in the world as well as in india so uh, this is the overall prevalence of ca uti in the in the community in the in the hospitals so uh, 0 to 5 
per thousand catheter day and also it will vary from uh, location to location in ward the ca uti rate may be less in icu setup the ca uti rate may be higher so please remember all the device associated, associated infection that is ca uti clap c and uh, ventilator associated uh, uh, pneumonia all these three are usually expressed per thousand device days is always expressed by thousand uh, device days. Uh, uh, what do you mean by uh, device days? Uh, device days means the how many uh, how many uh, patients in a day are on the device. Some of that for a uh, duration is called as uh, device days. Uh, for example, if you want to calculate the CA UTI rate, if you want to calculate the CA UTI rate for the month of uh, January, then if it is a six bedded ICU. If the ICU is a six bedded ICU, let's say that on day one, on on first January, out of six bed, five beds are having a, a, a urinary catheter. Five patients are having a urinary catheter. Day two, one patient the urinary catheter has been removed, so four patients are having a urinary catheter. Day three, two more patients the catheter has been removed, so it so it has become now two patients are having catheter. Day four. Three more patients you have added the catheter. That means two plus three equal to five patients are are on catheter. So like that, if you go on for a month, for the entire month of January, how many patients are on catheter of each day? If you sum up that, sum of day one to day are thirty one. How many patients are on there in the catheter? That is called as device days. Uh, that is called as uh, device. Days.